All right, so here we are rendering a, an array of, uh, of widgets, and uh, we already took care of uh, rendering the, a widget that uh, represents headings, and indeed they are being rendered, right, as dynamic H1s, H2s, H4s, and whatnot. Uh, let's, let's focus now on, on doing um, the, UR, the rendering an image of, of which we already have a URL. So let's grab that URL. Let's see what image is that. If we, if we select that, uh, access denied, I'll probably have... Um, my VPN maybe might be stopping me. Let's see, let's try that again. No? Okay, there it is. All right, so now I can access these, these images. Uh, this is a, um, notice it says Lodem uh, Pixel. It's uh, the equivalent of Lodem Ipsum, but for images. And you can ask different sizes of images, uh, different topics, if, if you want people, uh, you want sports, you want uh, outdoors, and, and you can then randomly just ask for one image after another. Okay, so you can you can have just it's a service uh, for you know for for, for creating uh, um, you know dummy content uh, that uh, is used a lot for um, for for, you know, for for printed media, right? Um, all right, so let's do that. Let's create a, an image widget for this. Uh, so for the image widget, what we really want is just basically uh, an IMG, right? And uh, it, we just want to use that source. We just want to use this source as the source for the SRC. SRC, and this would be equal to that URL. And um, uh, if we do that and, and then um, render this, uh, indeed the image is being loaded. The image is being loaded, uh, but not quite the size that we want. Right? We wanted to uh, presumably you know, take up the entire width of the page. Right? Uh, so so there's, an, there's an additional... Um, uh, attribute of, of uh, in the in the data model uh, that keeps track of the size that we want to that we want to use for that image, and I believe is in a um, is inside of an attribute called widget dot just plain old size, right? And size I believe is is 100 percent, which is going to expand the uh, the size of this image the entire width of the page. Everybody okay? Right. Notice that we are using these things in an attribute, right? These these uh these these template things right can be used anywhere, right? Can be used anywhere where uh, littles little strings uh, can be can be used. They're evaluated, and then uh, Angular goes in and then re-updates the DOM by right? filling in, uh, replacing all this content uh, where for for what it should have been in in the first place. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you could say you could use ng class, right? Uh, or you can you can render it uh, dynamically. Yes. Um, all right. So, so this is this is um. Let's try it out. If we if we re-render this, notice that indeed the image is not expanding. What? <laughs> oh, thank you. Computers, they take everything so literally. Um, okay, let's try that out. There it is. Okay, the image is now uh, responsive and is expanding as expected. There we go. Okay, but notice we have one too many errors here. One of them we know about, right? That we're ignoring this uh, this image that it's not finding it somewhere. Uh, but this second one, look at this one, right? If we if we go to the uh, to the network, um, it um, it looks like this this uh, it it tried to go and find uh, this re resource, right? Notice that it's a it's a resource that lives in our server assignment undergrads and this gibberish widget.url gibberish, okay? Uh, if you if you uh, unescape this, these are actually uh, two curly brackets and two curly brackets, right? It's it's this little here, right? These these uh, brackets right here, okay? And what's happening here is that uh, the browser gets gets a uh, gets a hold of this HTML from the server before any JavaScript gets a hold of this, right? Before the, uh, so so the browser parses this, looks at that SRC, and immediately tries to start downloading that image, right? From 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 the network. Uh, because they are, you know, images typically are, are um, uh, you know, take a while to download. Uh, it, it starts downloading even before the page gets rendered, right? It starts downloading it right away, right? So that 
it'll have the images ready by when the DOM is parsed. Okay. Uh, so, so the problem that we have here is that uh, yes, we come later. I mean, if you if you look at the URL, if you look at the URL, the URL is perfect. Im image src yada yada yada. Right. So it, it evaluated correctly. Right. It evaluated to the correct uh, value. But the problem is that the the the, the browser looked at this first. Uh, tried to download these curly brackets and said, I have no idea what this is, right? Uh, then, at, you know, a few milliseconds later, uh, Angular gets a hold of the DOM, right? And it goes back and replaces it with the correct value. But by that time, this, the, the browser has already complained, right? And thrown this error out, okay? Right, which is not a big deal, uh, but we want to try and keep the, um, the, uh, the, the, the console as clean as possible. Uh, so to do that, to, to remove those kinds of errors, Instead of using src, uh, we could we could use this other uh, attribute, uh, Angular attribute called ngsrc, and what this does is that um, the um, this this uh, since the src attribute is not physically here, the browser won't try to start downloading it. Okay, uh, so it will not complain because you're not asking to download anything. There is no src. Uh, so at a later time, when Angular actually gets to compile this, right? It will go in and add the SRC uh, when the DOM has loaded and it actually has a value for it, right? So when you come back, uh, you notice that we no longer have that one error for that image. Everybody okay? All right. Um, all right, so let's move on to uh, the, the next one. Um, let's uh, do first HTML. HTML is even more involved, so let's do that in, a, in the next video.